Hey, what's up everybody? Today, me and my good friend Clad2 are going to be opening 20 packs of Wild Survivors. This is the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set. I believe it was June 2nd or June 3rd, basically sometime at the beginning of this month. Clad here is the one who has the packs and is going to open them. So, hey, get started whenever you want to go. I, once again, do not have a pair of scissors. That's a little bit rough. Which, These are yeah, all really blister packs. One. I think that this is all themed, of course, around uh, dinosaurs, um, which is a type that back when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, dinosaurs were known for one thing, and that was trampling. In other words, they just did like piercing damage and stuff like that. Maybe it's some like of them attacked twice. Um, but they have come a long way, apparently, since I played them. And now they're even pretty competitive. But you got these from Target, right? Yes, yes. A lot of, uh, yeah. I think I got maybe 10 from Target and then like 10 more from Walmart. Oh, look at that. Lost World. The Big Field spell card. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is all tanky. first edition, too. Now, nah, Tanky. Yeah. That's a, that's that's a, that's a well known card. I wonder wow. if that's off the ban list. I remember it was like, I think it was put on the ban list at some point because Tanky was just used in so many decks. Because so it's just. Many. It's just reinforcement of the army, but better. Oh, big slime. I know that one. That's a classic card. Ooh. Well, that is a mouthful. Yo. He's got that Garin Lagan drill style, dude. Drilly Nathus. Oh, yeah, that's. Transcendosaurus Drilly Gnathus. That is a mouthful. I will say, and though, the last card, it's pretty cool looking. There can only be one. Yeah. I think that another big thing, of course, about dinosaurs is they have really high attack, usually. Around 3k, if not higher. They were always a deck that... Uh... That's a lot of attack. Yeah. You know, honestly, there's something kind of just nice about being able to attack over a monster because sometimes you get all these decks that have these crazy effects like oh omni negates right um and it's like well how am i going to get around this i can't destroy it with this effect or whatever but i could attack over it that actually comes into play a lot sometimes that's the best way with dealing with uh, monsters that are super annoying Oh, this is the the new ritual stuff. Oh, no wonder. Um, do you remember? Do you remember that old ritual card that's literally a hamburger? Yeah. That's hamburger that's, recipe. Yeah, that's that. That's their upgraded version of it. There, there's so literally shiny, it won't focus in. Yeah. Yo, that's actually I complete I completely forgot that was a thing. That is so go. funny. Yeah, they added Fish a whole recipe. thing for that ritual like cooking type thing now Ooh, oh wow. that's the classic Ultimate conductor tyranno he's an old school he's an old school card and he's really he good hard. yeah dude he's 3500 attack oh chef special recipe yeah it's you see it, it says hungry hamburger on there on that card i think it, it's literally a whole deck oh, base one. around it yeah look uh, uh it says hungry hamburger some special summon it hungry does. hamburger it's literally a whole new card type if based around that summon hungry hamburger you yeah. can banish this card from your graveyard tribute as many monsters your opponent controls as possible and that is so cool actually that is so cool you can make a hungry hamburger deck nowadays that is insane that is something that i i didn't think was ever going to happen that is so funny oh He's my god back He's Hungry back. Hamburgers back. Yeah, if I if I go back to Yu-Gi-Oh, I would want a deck like that. I would go there specifically just to cook. That would be yeah, so they're, fun. They're always bringing back blue eyes. Well, they just brought. Edition. Well, yeah, absolutely. They have retrains of Gazelle, the mythical beast. I think coming soon. That's a shiny. Oh, wow. That's oh, a chef. Oh, that's one of the newer. Uh, yeah, that's for them as it's well. On the pack. I'm not sure what you call their type. Their typing. Because they're all like a part of like an archetype or something. They're the cooking, the cooking, the chefs. Um, the grills? Recipe. Is that what they're called? The bale grills? Bale, bale grill? Maybe. Mm. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. The classic. Oh my god. Oh, that's also a classic. I like those. 
That is so funny. I can't believe they did that. I know I saw something about that. I guess you could make a whole deck based around it. Wow. Why cool. Why are they adding that in the dinosaur <laughs> set, though? Uh, dinosaur burger? Hmm, that is true. I bet they would serve it at Jurassic Park if it was a thing. They would. Solve world hunger, clone a bunch of dinosaurs, use them for meat. Oh, that card's crazy. Whoa, another chef? Oh, they're called Novels. Is that what it's called? I think so. Nouvelles. Nouvelles. Manju. Classic. Oh, staple for yeah. ritual. Nowadays, I wonder if those cards are still good. They have to be, right? I mean, probably. You probably don't do... I love that guy. Oh, he's he's a staple. This one? Yeah, that one is a staple. Oh, I already pulled one. Yeah, that one's a very, very OP card. So good that people put it in non-dinosaur decks. Miscellaneousaurus. Yeah, that card's insane. Obviously, Allure I've is... I've seen a, this one used a yeah, lot. That's a Allure dark stable. Darkness. I think it's limited to one. It was back when I played. It is? It, it, used to be, it used to be limited to one when I was playing. Like, competitively. But when I was playing competitively, the rules were... Like, Tenki was at three, but then you would have, like, Dark Hole banned, right? But then you had yeah. cards like Soul Charge that were allowed, and that card was busted. Do you remember Soul Charge at all? I bet you I use that. I do a little bit. It's literally like summon as many monsters from your graveyard as you want. Just pay a thousand life points for each of them. It was so OP. Another hamburger. Oh, that's a stable. That's a good one. Yeah, that one. Still I think eating. Over yeah. After. That one's that one. It does something with banishing. That's like really good. I think maybe it like banishes its a dinosaur to summon itself or something. Yeah, it has to do with like special summoning it from the graveyard. Yeah, I think that's what it does. I have never played dinosaurs in my life. My old memories of them were when they had the big green T-Rex that I think like did a thousand burn. Oh, oh that looked cool. Yeah, that card's Ooh, crazy. Wow. I think that's the guy on the front cover. Transcendosaurus yeah. Meteorus. That's the guy on the blister pack on the cover that's art. That's crazy. It's the second one then. That's got to be good. That's the guy on the front, right? Yeah, it's him. Yeah, got that guy and then that dinosaur, so we just need to get that guy. Ooh, he looks like an extra deck monster for sure. I like all the he virus looks cards. like an Xyz or something. Ooh, Whoa. Synchro. Synchro. I love Synchros. Transcendence. That was what the X, yeah, that was what the Xyz guy was as well. Yeah, Synchro, I think just the contrast of the white goes well with a lot of the monsters. I like Xyz too. Fusion was okay. Purple's not bad. Yeah, Xyz was my favorite, like, competitive thing. I thought that was, like, peak Yu-Gi-Oh for me when it was just Synchro and Xyz monsters. Fusion was there a little bit, but not too often. Um, it was just peak Yu-Gi-Oh for me. That was when the game was... Fast, but not too fast. You could do a bunch of crazy Yu-Gi-Oh combos still, but um, it just it just went out of control kind of from there. The power creep got a little too it unreal. It did get me. really crazy. Mm. I think if they brought back different formats where it focused more on that era, I think I would I would be so into it because I know you have other formats like goat formats and stuff like that. But there's even one new format that's like revolved around gladiator beasts, which is kind of interesting. I like gladiator beasts. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. that looks like the baby version of him. It does. But yet, he's still pretty strong. Remember Cute levels? Kid. Level five, yeah. level three. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's a little goat. Yeah, another little chef creature. I haven't even looked up the prices for like anything in this set, so I have no idea. If you pull something amazing, I'll have no idea. <laughs> It'll I be think... a mystery. I think maybe if they, because I know they have some new rarity types, like I think they call them, well, I mean, they have a, a few of them, like collector's rare and stuff like that. Maybe we'll notice it if you pull something like that, but I'll have to look up everything after this. Ooh, that one's crazy. Vanquish Soul Dr. Mad Love. That's so funny. You know, ever since we started opening up Yu-Gi-Oh cards again, or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, yeah, it's been making me want to play Yu-Gi-Oh again. Yeah, I think the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh would probably just to play Master Duel, right? 
Would that yeah, be fun? Yeah, I actually deleted Duel Links because Master Duel exists. Yeah, I enjoyed Duel Links. Oh, I remember those guys. Those guys were kind of meta back when I was playing. Yeah, that one's yeah. a hard one for it to pick up on the camera. Yeah, the Evil Zors, or Evol Zors, like Evolve. Um, I believe yeah. Rescue Rabbit was like a big deck back when I was playing, like, in it. It was like Rescue Rabbit into like two vanilla dinosaurs that I think had 1900 attack, which is super annoying. Oh, hey, Hungry Burger. Oh, it's foil. Hungry so burger. I don't think that card was ever foil. Right? I don't think so either. Looks crazy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, the Rescue Rabbit dinosaur deck was like pretty dominant for a while back when I was playing. I think I that's probably that's probably the only time I remember dinosaurs being good. You think I would be oh, yeah. uh or you think I'm gonna be able to build a dinosaur deck after <laughs> opening up all these packs? Yeah, you could do that or a hungry <laughs> hamburger deck, which sounds I way think more I would like to do a hungry hamburger deck. Yeah, that I sounds think it's fun. Specifically hungry hamburger. I don't think I've to play. ever played a ritual deck. I never I oh, never got I into do, rituals. I used to run Hungry Burger. Ooh, it's a vanilla. Oh, whoa. Vanquish like soul. The same from before no oh, that's trippy that is super foil hard to see but that looks crazy oh i remember these guys yeah enemy, enemy controller, controller classic hmm what's that one true king litho sagam the disaster i love it Okay, that guy looks fierce. That looks like at a at a monster hunter or something. I like it that does. one. Yeah, the art always goes hard for me with Yu-Gi-Oh. That's the kind of art that I really vibe with. Um, I don't really want to like take shots or anything, but I really like the more anime style when it comes to the card games. But I don't like the weeb style with card games, if that makes sense. What do you mean by that? I mean, like, I'm not a fan of Grand Archive, is what I'm saying. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't think I don't you know, know what, what that, that is. is. Yeah, you don't know what that is. I figured. Um, it's too weeby. And what I mean by that is, like, oh, lots of anime girls with big tits and all that uh, stuff. Just, yeah. I mean, that's that's why. I mean, that's kind of a turnoff for me for some things. Like, that's why I don't play Guilty Gear Strive. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind it. It's good when it's in doses. You know what I mean? Like. Like, I think One Piece does a pretty good balance of it, but... Hey, another Tinky. Oh, that one's fun. That card. Ooh. The mansion? Oh, the restaurant. Oh, restaurant it's the still. restaurant. At table. Barati. Barati. Or Baratier. I, dude, I, I can definitely make a, a hamburger deck. Hamburger deck. You, you need to make one, actually. That's going to be so fun. Rituals were always weird to me back in the old day of Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel like Rituals should have been an extra deck thing, right? Wouldn't that have made them like way better? Um, maybe I don't know. I it they really did feel like oh, they did really feel like they uh, came out. That guy looks cool. A bit too early. Looks like a vampire demon or something. Looks like something Demon Slayer would have. No, no lie, that actually looks like something something from Demon Slayer. It remember, does. Remember all the white demons, like pale white, like the spider, yeah, like the spider ones. Yeah. Yeah, that literally looks like that. Ooh. Vanquish soul? soul thing. What is it? It just looks is like it a, a slime. It's a zombie. Maybe it's a like decomposing corpse inside a slime, kind of like in Dungeons and Dragons, the movie, or just in D and D yeah, in general. It kind of looks like it. Oh, like you get the recipe eaten by the slime. It feels like there's never too many cards in a pack. But what, how much is that? Like nine cards a pack? Um, I mean, let's count. Yeah, yeah count them when you do this one. Oh. One, two, three, four. Oh, another vanquished soul. Is that a zombie too? Oh no, that's a warrior. Five, six, seven. Seven. So that's a lot less, less. cards. Yeah. Normally, other card games nine. have more. Yeah, I think One Piece has like twelve. All How right. much is a Pokemon? Gold. The last five packs. The last five. 
It I'm depends. Gonna, it depends I, on the set. I feel like the dinosaur one that you pulled earlier that's on the front of that cover, that one's probably the big pull that we had, right? Tran Transcendosaurus Meteorus. It rolls off the tongue. Another tanky. Ooh, hello. New one. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Transcendosaurus Gigantozowler. That looks sick, actually. I want to see. Yeah. Webcam, pick it up. Yeah, it's just Ooh, so shiny. Oh, is that 38? Oh my god. One dinosaur plus one normal. Target one dinosaur in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Card with special summon in the graveyard. Destroy two cards. Uh, one from your hand or field. And one opponent controls. So this card is destroyed. Shuffle one normal graveyard into deck and then special summon this card. So wait, he's a floater. If he dies, he comes back as long as you have normals. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like that. I like how it adds normal monsters into the, the whole thing. Which makes sense because I guess maybe they're taking... Is Rescue Rabbit banned? I bet you could still probably use Rescue uh, Rabbit. I think it's limited at least, right? Mm, that would make sense. I mean, normal normal dinosaurs are pretty strong attack power, like 1900 normally. Like four I do star remember 19. them doing something to it. Yeah. Oh. Another one of those. I wonder if that's the normal that you're supposed to use. Do a dinosaur burger mix and mash. Yeah, I mean, that would be pretty decent if you had a good way to add the normals to your hand because you would just use them for your ritual summons, probably. Because you just sacrifice the normal monsters since you're never going to use it for a summon. Like that guy right there, that's a beefy guy. Another one of those. You got three, I think. That's all you oh, need. Hey, another one of the synchros. All right, last pack. I wonder what else there is Still to pull in that here. Guy. Yeah, that we guy. Didn't get him yet? You got a really cool fusion though. Oh, he's a he's not a, an extra deck card. Oh, I, I would have figured. Yeah, he is a big boy though. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that's not Meteorus. These two are different. This yeah, you have a. Uh, pulling. Yeah, you got three of the little ones and only one of the bigger one. All right. I think they're like. There's something big. There's something big in this. Something one big in that it. one. Another little surprise, like that big fusion, thirty-eight hundred attack power. That's something I expect from dinosaurs. Have crazy attack. Ooh. Oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> you just need one more, probably, for a playset. Yeah, pretty solid. All right, well, another, another one of those. Sequel. Hey, that's pretty good. That was a really good opening. I think just to kind of go through it, I think um, get that fusion out there too. Let, let me just look yeah, yeah. some of them up real quickly. I'm just going to bring up wild survivors here. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to look at some of them. Oh, whoa. The Vanquish Soul guy you pulled, the blue one that had like crazy things on his arms, he's like 30 bucks. Doctor oh, wow. Doctor Madlove was 1517. Oh wow. I was not expecting that. Um I don't think I saw some of these cards. Oh, the uh the spell restaurant card, that's like five or six bucks. Nice. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Oh, that's... Oh, you don't have that. That's a Collector's Rare. That would have been sick. Or maybe I'm reading that wrong. No, it's just an Ultra Rare, right? Yeah, okay. There are Collector Rare versions of them. Collector Rare. I don't think we saw a Collector Rare. Any more of those Vanquish Soul cards? You should probably just get those out. Those all seem to be worth quite a decent chunk Getting right now. Getting all the Hollows out. Hmm... I think I should get all the Vanquish Soul cards out. Yeah, there's a there's a few of them that I was just like, huh? Is this worth a little hollow? bit? Um, probably. Yeah, either though, either way though, that was pretty solid. There's like a magic card that's worth like 
18. I don't know if you pulled it. It's called Stake Your Soul. Mm, I, don't I don't know if you I got that one. Getting that. You got Dr. Mad Love, and you definitely got Vanquish Soul Raisin. Did you get yes. Vanquish Soul Heavy? Vanquish all Soul hollow? Heavy Borger. Yeah, they're all hollows. Okay, I got Raisin. Yeah, you got him. That's big. Mad Love is big. And then the restaurant was like five or six. Pretty solid. What is that? Vanquish Soul Dust Devil? Yes. I don't know if I saw that one. There's one called Today's Menu. I don't know if you got that one. That one goes for like seven. Mm. I don't see that. Either way, pretty good. Yeah, I think pretty that's about cards. it. Yeah, there are a couple of cards in here that uh, you could have pulled that are pretty cool. There, there are collector rares in this set, which is interesting. Um, I don't think you got a collector's rare. I was expecting these guys to be a bit more. I'm a bit sad about that. The fusion looked really cool. I'm kind of surprised he's not more. Either way, that's that's huge. I, I guess Vanquish Soul cards are what's in right now, huh? Oh, there's Dust Devil. Okay, yeah, Dust Devil's not really worth that much. Either way, that was that was fun. I think the Vanquish Soul cards, surprisingly, are all the big pulls that, over the dinosaur. Um, that one guy you didn't pull who's on the front cover, he's a Vanquish mm -hmm. Soul. Um, not a dinosaur. He looked like maybe he was a beefed up dinosaur, but I have no idea what Vanquish Soul cards do. Though, this is the biggest pull of them all. Yeah. There's a collector's rare version of him in, the, in this set. That would have been so oh, funny. Oh, hamburger? Yeah. I'm a fan of the fusion. I thought that guy was really cool. Big beefy dinosaur, 3,800 attack, comes back if he dies. Yeah, it looks like I a, love it. I love it. a mixture between like an owl and elephant kind of caribou thing going on mm -hmm. i think he's cool but yeah that's it for this uh we have more unpacking or unopening and unboxing kind of stuff for you guys not just for Yu Gi Oh, but also pokemon and one piece because the set three is coming out within the next week or two right so we'll, you know have that to look forward to um thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time peace